fucking news station where all the. Yeah, I already hit record. I told you movie stars and shit was here. Fucking Yeah, we ain't going to no faggot parade. That'd be a waste of time for us. Comfest starts tomorrow. Oh, Comfest? That's all weekend? All 311 is going to be here. I don't think they're at Confest, they're just here in town for the Confest. Is really 311 going to be down there? Um, they'll probably be at Comfest, but they're not performing there. Oh. They got a show at Newport, oh. maybe. There's some kind of big ass show. Zoom in on there, see if you can see. It ain't got today up there. That's why we, we come out here. You see all kind of famous people out here sometimes. Today, the 28th? I don't know what the fuck today Foxy something, I don't know. Yeah, we just go with the spirit. Free something. I'm just gonna start a song with my mind. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm gonna get this piece of energy. I'm still playing that bullshit rap music down there. I can't stand that shit, guys. Listen to this old ignorant ass music. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. You know what I'm saying? Some people hear that scripture, they think we gotta go all the way to the land of Israel. No, we're Jerusalem right here. This right here is the city of peace. Our people is Jerusalem. What's up, bro? So you believe in the Bible? It's all scary, Some bullshit, ain't it? Some bullshit. Man, we come from Africa. We come from eight. <laughs> you might, you might come from an ape. Right. I don't come from no goddamn monkey. Well, that's what the educated man did. Yeah, yeah, but the educated man ain't educated. The educated kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, man, come on, that's a joke to say we come from monkeys. And we come from monkeys. How come we still got monkeys? <laughs> hey, simple, simple. Let question. me ask you a question. How, tell me how long it's gonna take take for a, a chimpanzee to start. Reading or writing? How many years we got? Two or three years. So you can watch it too much cleaner than the eight. The Discovery Channel, man, will destroy your mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The History Channel, there's some good stuff on you it, ever but you heard, heard of the Devil's Advocate? Yeah, that's who uh, runs the TV station. Well, Here you go. This is First Corinthians, um, one and twenty-five. That thing ain't real. One it's and a twenty-five. Fairy tale, is it? It's like uh, so says, Alice in Wonderland. So says, okay, here you go. Says, says, this is even so better. So says, who? So says who? Psalms 14 and 1. Who are you? The fool has said in his heart, I guess there is no God. Do you really believe what you just said? Oh, you don't believe that. You're just playing devil's actor. Okay. 
He said he don't really. So you believe the Bible? Without a doubt. All right. God is our Savior. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Why would you even go he there? Because like I could say that. Well, you're right. You can't. Because I'm. But you don't. You know, know what comes out of a man's mouth? Don't you know what comes out of a man's mouth is uh, condemning him himself? I don't care. Right. Like, you don't care. Right. You ain't the judge. Yeah, I am. There's no answer. 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 Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? Saints shall judge the and world. We're the saints. Okay, Israel's the saints. Because so we're the only ones out here doing the work of the Lord. Now watch this. Who appointed you the saint? The most high here. Yeah, how shall? The spirit of the Lord called us into this. Now listen. And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest oh, matters? That's right, brother. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? What? How much more things that pertain to this life? What? <laughs> so if we're gonna judge angels. So how much more do the things pertain to this life? So we are the judge. If we, if, well, if you that's the problem with the world. Judge. You know what? The problem with the world is that there ain't no judge. That's the problem. This judge is. No, yeah, that, the devil. Where you going? The judges in the courtroom. They, they, the uh, high priest of Satan. Okay, they worship the devil. That's right. All they do is persecute There's the poor. Judges. Those judges in the courthouse, all they do is rob the poor, okay, and they, they oppress our people. That's all they do. That's well, I agree with you on that. And the Lord said to him, go through the midst oh, of the yeah, city. By one second, because in America, if you're a rich man, you don't go to jail. Okay, America's all about oppressing the poor and the weak. The rich, oh, without a doubt. The rich never go. There's no judgment That's in that court. That's because it's a capitalist society. That's right. I'm going to go ahead and get that again. About it's all about money. And the Bible says money is the root of all evil. Yeah, it is. It's harder for a rich man to get to the next man. Oh, right. Yeah, he got And the Lord... He got shut down. He said, fuck up back to that bitch. You know, he didn't expect his wisdom to come like that, man. He's smacking his ass. Yeah, because people always say you can't, you can't judge. Well, that's why this world's so fucked up. Stupid ass people. The truth smacked the shit out of this shit. Down. Right. Got Jerry throw juice dripping all over the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. What's that? Uh, what? oh, Jay Chappelle when he was doing uh, his James. Oh yeah. Get, uh, when he came, went to uh, Eddie Murphy in the crib, he was getting grease all on the oh, yeah. couch and oh, mud on the seat. <laughs> oh, that's like you're going to movie House Party. What's that dude who's on House Party? Right. What was his name? The, oh, the, the main comedian. It was coming to America. Oh, dude had the glow. Uh, I forget his name. He died. Talking about um, uh, damn. But he's like, yeah, yo, hair all, <laughs> yo, Jerry throw dripping. He's like, if you're the cops ever follow you, you have hey, a problem. Excuse me, like guys. Up, I'm yeah. traveling through, and they like 75 cents to get us. Uh, I got no money. Only money we can give you is these spirit. scriptures, man. No, no sorry, got, dude. Man. What you got? This this is this is the yeah, it's the only money we got, man. It's the only riches we have, man. What you got, man? It's more value. Good. See, we was um, in the spirit. We just, yeah. we in uh, Ezekiel 9 right now. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. We're Jerusalem. The 12 tribes of Israel is Jerusalem. All right, this starts to scatter that. What book is this? King James? Go ahead. He set a mark
Make money off of it. Right. You, first thing you see when you go into the courthouse is cash registers. And they just cleaning people out. It's a bank. The cops don't ever stop real crime. All they do is give you tickets and take take all your money. And now they're privatizing our prison systems here in Ohio. Oh yeah, it's right. on its way too. It's on its way too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I know I got a couple of friends that work for the prison system. They got, I mean, it's a matter of change for the worst in the prison. Is America's the kingdom of Satan? Okay. Yeah, right. America was founded upon slavery. The world is. The world is. is given into the hand of the wicked. You know who Esau is? Esau is the wicked. The people, the rulers that control this world, that's the wicked, okay? You know who the so-called Jews that living in the state of Israel are? You know, they're not the real Israelites, okay? The people on this sign right here, these are the real Israelites, okay? So-called Jew living in the state of Israel, that's the chief house of Esau, okay? The so-called Jew, they, they control the United States government. Okay, they control Hollywood. They, oh. they own Hollywood. They run, like you know who Gary Oldman is. You know who Gary Oldman is, the actor. It just came out in the news a couple of days ago or yesterday. But he came out and said that the uh, the Jews run Hollywood. He get down. Now they trying to destroy his career because he uh, dared to speak out against the Jews. Right. It's like they ruined Mel uh, Mel Gibson because of. And Mel Grant, Mel Gibson knows that they're a bunch of devils, okay? Yeah, they do, they do a rich in this game. The Bronzo, we wipe our ass with the Bronzo. Yeah, yeah. That's what hey, that is, it's, it's, it's toilet it's, paper. It's, yeah, it's probably the best toilet paper. It's a good toilet paper. It's a real good toilet paper. Get your ass real clean. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We spit on it, puke on it. I like you know the Bronzo, though. Kick you it down the steps. They fucking touch on like all the profits. So. You know, you know, you know, you know what the Quran says? It says that you're not supposed to even be friends with Christians, which are Israelites. Okay, and it says the way I was born, I was born Christian. It's funny as hell, in the same book, the Quran right. also tells you to seek wisdom and go to, go to Israel. And the Quran you also said it's okay. The same book. And it also says you can have sex with both boys. It calls them pearls. Right. It does. That's in the that's in the Quran. <laughs> Where was that? that? That's I in the Quran. That that right we used to have that marked down. You sure well, did. It's but been, I got a the few, sword it's been a few years since oh. we brought it out. Sword, you know right? Muhammad, let me ask you, you know Muhammad? Yeah. You know he was illiterate, right? Yeah. So what kind of prophet is illiterate? He can't even fucking read. If he's illiterate, who the hell wrote the Quran? That's a good fucking question, man. Oh, all I know is Gabriel Gabriel. 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 The Lord in the Bible tells you that when you call Jesus Christ, he was going up in the temple. Not only could he read and write, he was going up in the temple. He was schooling the priests. Okay. So what you doing? Going to city to state, state to state? City to city. We you started? That's how uh, Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, straight up? Yeah. Okay, where That's you at? Uh, just anywhere, huh? And <laughs> hey, let me read. I'm trying to get it West Coast. Most recently, I'm trying to get back out to San Francisco. I was okay. out there last summer, but I'm trying to get out there this summer again because I got some friends that I met that are growing weed out there, like okay. in the north, the northern part of California. And I want to get a little trim job, get some weed off. Of the world. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because you gotta be high to read that Quran. Look at this, Galatians one and eight. Now listen good. This is real important. Okay, this is extremely important. Yeah, you get bugged out. That's why you got all these motherfuckers blowing themselves up in the name of jihad. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. Ishmael's a wild man. That's his, that's the spirit of the Lord. Too. But watch this. But though we, this is Galatians 1 and 8. But now you said Gabriel went to Muhammad, right? Listen to this. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Ooh, that's what I think. That's what 
So if he's saying Gabriel came down here and told him that the, the, the one you call Jesus is not the son of God, we should have cursed Gabriel the hell out. Right. Gabriel going yeah, Gabriel would be case. going off. But that never happened, though. He made that shit up. All Islam is, man, is just the tools that we use to control the errors, man. Oh, and yeah. it just came to the point they started to actually believe the Quran. Well, because the Arab would you know? believe anything. Right. They they're, 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 they're not too smart. You, know you see the Arab is kind of stupid. They're backwards as hell. They probably some of the most backward people on earth. Okay, they still live in the damn stone age. What I never understood about them was like, all right, so what, they pray five times a day. Five times oh, I got a scripture for that. They have to wash their feet, so wash their hands, and wash their face three times. Right, right, what's right. What, what scripture say you gotta do that? It's like, it's like way too fucking, like, uh, you know, George, you're right, because the heathen, they do, they go out their way and do all that shit, you know. They like to be seen. But it's all for nothing, though. And let me get this scripture real quick. Matthew 6 and 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Hypocrites, remember. For they love standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. So everyone can see them, so they get that attention. It's all, that's all, it's all about that attention. Yep. That Make they, it appear as if they're some holy people. Yep. You know, it's a front. That they may be seen in men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. When thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret. Right. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee. That's, That's what the closet means. It's just meaning just go somewhere private. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, because that is all. That, all that is is control. That's the control. You control. Have. Got these dumbass niggas part of the niggas of Islam. Oh. Hell, they've been following this bullshit for so long. They started act, actually look like Arabs. Like, now you consistent Well, structure. You no, know, in Islam, what happens if you get, according to the Quran, what happens if you get caught stealing? They chop your fucking hand off. You be damned. They chop your. They actually chop your hand off. You be that, damned to hell. But that's evil though. Yeah. The you, Bible, why would you want to maim somebody that's still that, that's still alive? You know. You supposed to you maim them? The Bible says you ain't supposed to chop their hand off. Then they gotta pay you back what se seven times? Seven more. times what they stole from you. Right, I just forgive you. Well, right, and eventually you are supposed to forgive them, not chop their fucking hands off. We live, we live under a forgiving God. But yeah, Allah is a non-God. He don't exist. That's right. All right, guys, I'm well, welcome, man. Okay, man. Come on, call me on our way. That's all, guys. Man. Smitty. Smitty? Yeah. I'm planning. I don't shake hands. What's your name? No, I'm going to talk to some prophets. That's all you need to worry about. Prophets of the Lord. Nice to meet you too, Kevin. He's making this little something. I'm sure it was on some weed. Hey, man, you can get weed right here in Ohio. That's the craziest shit ever heard in my life. But well, he ain't in the right state of mind. He's over there. <laughs> that Islam shit is spreading though, because that's how, how many stupid people you got. Because they make it sound good. They, they try to make it sound good. Mm -hmm. so all you gotta do is just examine the simple facts. Mm -hmm. That's just that's some evil shit. But you look at it this way. If you stupid don't know shit anyway, you gonna fall for that kind of shit. That's good for them, actually. You know? right, right. But then you got all these other fools, they accepting all, all these Muslims in America. They shipping Muslims into America by the billions. You got every other person you see is now a fucking Muslim. And they want to kill your ass, man. Muslim. They, they hate the Muslim. A true Muslim, they hate us. Okay? True Muslim. But you, you fucking Muslim, you, you ain't going to do shit to us. The Most High is going to destroy you, motherfucker. Damn right. Unless he wakes you up out of that deep sleep that you in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Shit. That's crazy. You, you got to be out your fucking mind to call yourself a Muslim, man. You got you to be retarded. I was going back to that. That's some bugged out shit. And said they worked on the forehead. Alright, let's start back at the top now. Alright, this right, cool. yeah. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that signed and that cried for all the abominations that be done in the midst of the There ain't too many people out here crying about these abominations out here. You ain't seeing people out here complaining about the judges and about the cops and about the faggots and about all this adultery. Ain't nobody complaining. There's very few people complaining. 
bondage. And these people are happy with their captivity. They enjoy being in slavery. They, they enjoy having to pay all their money to the devil. They, en called? they enjoy being poor. What's that called when you're a prisoner of war for so long, you actually get comfortable with it? Oh. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome. There you go. There you go. That's where these people, they, they, they suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. They love their oppressors and they love their masters. They don't even know who the fuck their masters are, to be honest with you. Like I said, the so-called Jew runs the planet Earth. They don't have no enemies but their own brothers. Yeah. Yeah. These dumbass people. Oh, yeah. They don't even know who their enemies are. So they fabricate their own enemies, their own brothers. Like we talk, asked that dude, uh, about, he's talking about the Jews running Hollywood. I seen somewhere on the internet that said the only they took a poll. They said only like 30% uh, of Americans were aware of the fact that the Jews control Hollywood. These people don't know shit. It's to the others, he says, find him. Go ye after them to the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children. Yes. So them angels, when them angels coming back, when the Lord come out of the sky with the legions of angels, they, their angels gonna be doing some killing. You know what I'm saying? This already happened in the past. It's gonna happen again. Black woman, ambassador to America. Oh shit, they better not. Go for my business talk. It's like utterly old and young, both maid and little children so the Lord, and women. So the Lord gonna kill little children, he's gonna kill women. Okay. So you gonna did you get them on camera? Because uh the Lord's gonna kill them. When you look around, you see all these nasty ass whores, okay? They commit adultery left and right. They done had sex with a thousand men. Bitches walk down the street showing their titties, have tattoos on their titties. You can see their pussy, you can see their titties, you can see the crack of their ass. They talking shit, talking back to men. You gonna tell me they're not gonna get put to death? Are they gonna get put to death, all right? The Lord's gonna kill these bitches, man. And half these bitches are fucking obese. Half these bitches weigh 300 pounds. They stink. They eating pork all day. No. Nasty ass hoes, man. The Lord's gonna kill you, nasty ass bitches. <laughs> For real. Whether they believe it or not. Bitches getting abortions every other week. Job 7 and 11. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. Yeah, so our spirits is anguish. That's why we out here preaching. And we mad as hell. And we hate this fucking world. And we pray all these wicked ass fools get put to death. Man. We pray every day that the Lord kills all these evil motherfuckers, man. All these people got a problem with the Most High, got a problem with righteousness. We pray that they die. They preach that peace shit, but. They, no, they're not, they're not peace. They're about hate. Right. They say we're hateful. No, these people are hateful. Right. That's crazy. Man. When, when you kill your baby, when you have an abortion, that's hatred. And, and they, have, they get mad at them like, ah, that's a woman's choice. A woman should have control over her body. Ooh. And then I heard some of these bitches, they'll tell me that, uh, they're like, well, the fetus is actually a human. It's just a parasite. Mm -hmm. I've heard that numerous times. Oh, are you still hearing it? Yeah. They'll try to say it, uh, the baby. They're, they're justifying it. Human life is a parasite. Right. No, you people are parasites. Their baby has a spirit in it. You know, and it relies on that mother's incub that incubator inside that bitch's belly to take to raise that baby up. What's that a man or a woman? <laughs> right. You got so many transgenders, you don't know. You gotta be careful. Damn right. It's that fucking crazy. <laughs> now they can grow vaginas in the laboratory. Yep. 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 The only reason they doing that too is because they they they, they want to be a woman. <laughs> Therefore, I would not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. So, I, we out here complaining, because we mad as hell, like I said. People always say, why y'all complain so much? How come you ain't complaining? There's a lot to complain about. The list is so goddamn long, 
I got so many complaints, I can't possibly listen to them. Right, right, right. You know? Hell. Well, and we in the spirit of Lot. You know? We in that same spirit of Lot. Complaining. I gotta get his script out. I fuck on a loop around some fucking wicked ass wickedness, you know? Hold that for a minute. What you got? You still reading that? Nah, that's it on there. I got some. I got some. I'm getting mad as fuck. It don't make no goddamn sense, man. Dude said we can't judge and shit. He was sincere about that, too. The fuck? Well, the hell? just because he says we can't judge don't mean we ain't gonna... We, gonna, we not gonna stop. You know? We gonna keep judging. We That's gonna right. judge some more. And you, you can't... mark on that food, too. And they can't... And who is that guy? Fucking nobody, that's who. He a piece of shit. You know? So we don't care if you come up and you disagree. And you got your own opinion. Fuck your opinion. Your opinion does not matter. At all. That one bit. Damn yeah, right. You ain't gonna stop the work of the Most High. The only Most High can stop it. Here yeah. you go. Let me read this real quick, oh, go brother. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay, um. Now, this is Romans 16 and 17. Now, I beseech ye, brother. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses. Most high, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem. You know about that? Well, you look like a faggot. A fat faggot at that. Yeah, a fat faggot. <laughs> like, I give a fuck about a big fat faggot driving by on a bike, doing some drive-by scoffing. <laughs> <laughs> when the Lord gives us that power, we're going to hit his ass with a cinder block right in the head. Damn right. Damn. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn right. See your ass scoffed in. Man, this is some spiritual shit going on with these scriptures today with these people. Now, I beseech ye, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses. Yeah, when you come up having a problem with us, you causing division. That's right. Divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Yeah, so we don't want to be around nobody that's coming up. Come out, you can't judge. You guys got to love everybody. I'm trying to hear that shit. That's crazy, man. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but their own belly. Like that first guy that walked up. He walked up lying, saying the Bible was a book of fairy tales. Why would you even joke with some stupid shit like that? That's man? not some shit to joke with. That's not, you don't joke around like that. Like we had another guy here joking around and he was a faggot. He, he probably wasn't he probably, joking. Probably, probably wasn't joking. There's certain shit you don't joke about. You just don't run, run, run. Certain, run. certain, it's all, you know, I can understand being sarcastic sometimes. Mm -hmm. But certain things you don't joke about, especially the Bible. It's not a joke. It's a serious matter. How, how, how often do you see brothers standing on the streets pushing truth? And that's the best thing you can do is approach it with some ignorant foolishness. That's when it's spirits. Uh, Who's that one comedian that was out there acting like an Israelite? Yo, that faggot ass, um, um, uh, Mark, uh, Marlon Wayans or... Um, nah, no. um, that was, um, I hate that motherfucker now just for that too, Who? man. He's the guy um, from Friday. Yeah. Uh, day 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 day. Day day. He's uh, out there preaching. They, nah, he was making he, mockery. Oh, of I see that. He's like, it it's a like jungle God, sometime. It makes I me wonder. That, he was pretending like he was out there for like five minutes. He, he, oh, he, he was acting like he was reading the Bible, and then he started uh, he was acting like he, he had, was had a reader. Though. He had a reader. He had a twelve tribe sign. Mm -hmm. So, but the Most High, but he, Most High God, he marked himself, damn self, when he did that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And really, he blasted me the Holy Spirit. There's no forgiveness for that. No. None. None. Ain't no coming back from that. You're right. You're right. Certain things you can't fucking do. That's one of them. Yeah. A, a murderer has a, 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 yeah, that's a, right. That's right. a better chance of getting to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. than there goes your home. homies, people. That's an offensive shit like some faggot shit. You know? Yeah, ain't no the for, the Holy Spirit, ain't, man. Ain't no forgiving that. Mm -mm. No. Marlon went. No. You I get can't out there, was on. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I, I'm glad I can't remember his name. Yeah, good. Fuck him. Right. I, uh, Fuck Mike Epps. Mike Epps, that's it. That's fact. Fucking yeah, I used to think he was a good uh, stand-up comedian. Yeah, that disgusted the shit out of me. I, I don't want to hear another word out of that motherfucker's mouth after hearing that. Thank you. Thank you. Most high gonna zap him. I, I just want to hear, hear him plead for help when he's getting fucked up. Mm -hmm. And that memory of the brother standing on the corner is gonna be tearing his soul apart, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it's gonna be killing his soul, that bullshit he did, man. And you know what? Israel was giving, fake ass Israel was giving thumbs up like a motherfucker to that video, man. I wonder if he, uh, oh yeah. Because Jake, Jake is evil as hell. Israel is evil. The, the majority of our people are evil. They know goddamn good. But they love making mockery of the Bible. You know, we 
fucking love marketing. We got no love for them. None. <laughs> None. None. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, if that's like these faggot ass Christians, man. They, they give you these smooth words. They don't give a shit about you. That's like a politician. A politician give a fair speech like Barack Obama. He'll give a, a, a beautiful speech that he read off a teleprompter. And behind closed doors, he's putting your ass to slavery. That's right. Barack Obama's a devil, okay? He's a devil, he's safe. It shows that, that nasty ass zombie looking bitch wife with it. That bitch is the devil. That's right. That's right. She made some racial slurs about Instagram the other day. Yeah, they like making fun of uh, Mexicans. Like you better than the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna talk shit about Latinos. You wanna act like a Latino or subhuman. Okay? That tells you how fucked up in the head these people are. They think they better than somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their vibration is picking up steam. Too. And they got everybody complaining about all these Latinos coming up through the border. Cause there's a lot of them coming up, uh, immigrate. You've heard about that shit the past few weeks. Yeah, it bugged me out how uh, they infecting them with diseases intentionally. Well, yeah. So they bringing that shit over. Here. Now you got all these white people saying they're going to go down there and start shooting. What they been? Doing? Quite right. <laughs> but what I'm saying though is here it is. You get mad about Latinos who is our people coming in here. While at the same time, the government is shipping goddamn Muslims and Hindus in by the millions legally. And fucking Africans, goddamn Hamites, Hindus, goddamn Somalians. That's a nasty shit. There's fucking Somalians every fucking where. And y'all gonna complain about some Latinos. Y'all deserve to be put to death. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Right. And all them people bring that here. I, look, I'd rather have a Latino woman than one of these white bitches or black bitches. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather yeah. move. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. They ain't as foul you as, as the, you know. Well, wait till they get up in America for a few yeah, years. You just said it. That'll change their attitude. Yeah. Just they, take a conversation with one of these wicked bitches. You know, yeah, they'd be committing adultery <laughs> the same day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, these women love, you know, they love talking that shit they don't want you to be talking about, man. Spreading their evil, man. That's a, where's that? That's in Titus. Oh, about the woman? Yeah, how, you know. Yeah. How they always running their fucking mouth speaking things they, they, they shouldn't be speaking about. Speaking things they ought not. You, a woman's, your her wife ain't supposed to be going over some other bitches how talking about what their business with her husband. They always do, that's all you they know? do. That's that Nate Satan shit. What do they call that, uh... No, with, uh, man, it's something like that. Timber, buddy. Well, thanks, sir. Uh, uh, the, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, yeah, man, I got I'm having a brain for it. Okay, let me read this in Titus uh, 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. I mean, that's referring to a lot of these wicked ass Israelites, so-called brothers that's in the truth. Oh yeah, you got people calling themselves Israel, mm -hmm. teach waking, so-called waking up Israel. Man they, man, they just using you to make money. Like, like the Nathaniel 7 guy, he tried to sell you some garments, sell you some signs. Everybody want to make merchandise of, of, of their flock, of their congregation. Yeah. Here to sell you nothing. We are here to uh, give you a free meal. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh -huh. What's that the scripture say in Isaiah? Come ye to the hungry uh, uh, and eat and drink for free, something like that. Yeah, I yeah, can get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. First Corinthians, First Timothy's two and eight. I were therefore that men pray everywhere, uh, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame faces and sobriety. Not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which com becometh women professing godliness with good works. Hey, none of these women out here have any kind of form of godliness. None. They, they all they, they all whores. They dress like whores and they talk like whores. I was doing the shit 
out this bitch two o'clock this morning out south, man. And this, cause she got a college degree and worked for the prison system making money. Got a house, account, bank account, and shit. This bitch thinking she clean and a righteous woman. I threw it down on this nasty hoe, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Made yeah. her look foolish, man. And all you gotta do is use the scriptures, man. And she couldn't justify why she got children, but the baby daddy ain't been around in years. Oh, I got one. You know what I'm saying? She can't understand that a woman. You, I mean, I mean, I put the, I put the picture out there that you have a, a, a you and your man have a, a son, and that man can throw that woman can throw that man out, and and, and, uh, and she have kids with another man. Oh, this goes into that right here. That's confusion. One. Them kids get in the meeting and have babies and shit. Right, because you got don't if you don't know who your dad is, you can end up having sex with your sister. Yeah, damn yeah, right. And that happened to T.O. on the T.O., like the football player. Yeah, right, right, He right, said he right. uh, found out that his sister, he was about to get with her and have sex with her. He found out that was his sister. So no, his dad lived across the street from him his whole life, and he didn't know it was his dad. And that that was the day he found out that was his dad. Right. You're like, dude, you can't date her. That's your sister. That's crazy, yes, man. So there's a lot of, so we got a lot of people out here. Not just black people, white people too. Every anybody in America, America is the kingdom of Satan, where anything goes. So there's a lot of incest out here. A lot of these people out here that they actual inbred, and you don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's part of that curse, though. They say the Most High curse your ass. That's a curse for real. Being born out of incest, that's a fucking curse. Like the song says, Papa was a Rolling Stone. I mean, pop. Some motherfuckers just move around a lot, man. Having kids, man. They don't. And none of the kids know each other, know their brothers and sisters, man. Yep. That's wickedness, man. That's great crazy, Papa man. Was a Roman style. I had kids by multiple women. And I made sure all my kids knew each other. Actually, all my kids were raised together. You know what I'm saying? Wicked shit. shit, man. Yeah, because you got a lot of dude, a lot of men too. They don't have a. They don't want to take care of their kids, or uh, they don't want to spend any time with them. That's. Taking care of the kids, not just throwing money at them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Child support, them, throwing the child support. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, you know, spending time with them, uh, teaching them shit. But they'll actually pay a woman to get an abortion to kill their own seed. Yeah. But that's good. Hopefully, that means you won't have no kids. We got to worry about nothing. You motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, let me read this. This is dealing with the.